episode. Here we are, Free Island Girl, and my favorite realtor, Stephen Hattie. Hello, hello. So, to to yeah, come over. So you guys know it's been a minute, right? I, w I left the DR. I was in California for a while, but I could not resist. So now I'm back in Las Terrenas. Here with Steven, and this is a special episode because I want to give you guys some updates. Well, really, Steven's going to give you the updates on like what's been happening here with real estate, the market's gone crazy. Um, so those of you who've been writing to me, this one's for you. So Steven. Yeah. How you been? Uh, good, but nice she, she caught me a little bit off guard, completely <laughs> unscripted. I have no idea what's so... Well, we don't do anyway, scripted. Anyway, whatever. We it don't do matter. scripted. That's why it's fun. But I didn't even get like five minutes to think about what it, it doesn't well, matter. Well, I'll, so I'll ask you questions you and then you I just know. answer them, right? Okay, so I left here in August of 20... What are we, 2021? Um, you know, and things were coming along, right? Very then much came, so. Yeah, then came back in November, saw some new stuff, some developments. It's now March of 2022. And this place has exploded. Every place I turn, there's like a, another billboard for development. So what's happening? What's going on? Yeah, well, it, it, exactly that. I mean, it's it's crazy. And, and many big developments, uh, big, small, medium, what, anything imaginable is being developed. Yeah. Well, whoever can buy a piece of land and can afford to build whatever, it's being yeah. developed. That's what's happening right now. From uh, big, big beachfront projects to even like single family homes and little things up in the hills, I, yeah. I'm always running around everywhere looking at everything, every piece of land, every whatever, and yeah. in little nooks up, tucked away. That hasn't changed. <laughs> <laughs> Still little, playing mojos, yeah. Little nooks tucked away up in yeah. the corner of a mountain or the side of a hill, and, and you just kind of scan around and you see two or three uh, new villas being built and yeah. houses, apartments, just absolutely everything, everywhere. Yeah. People are building, developing projects, individual, everything so i have mixed feelings about this because like a lot of people do because on the one hand great people are coming down it's providing jobs whatever but it's also like scooping out loads of the environment and what's up with the infrastructure though like can we keep up with the pace in terms of all these new so because some of these there's one in town right across from bungo popular they say it's going to have hundreds of units is that true across Hopefully not. from popular no not that okay good not hundreds of units no god no Okay, There's good. a little project being built there. I don't okay. even know how many units. It's 20 or something. Okay, no, good. nothing. There's nothing with hundreds of units downtown. No, no. Good. No. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's getting crowded. Like, there's more traffic in the streets. There's more people here year-round, I'm noticing. Like, it, we're just at the tail end of high season. Yeah. A lot of people. And I'm reading. I'm, I'm always going through Facebook posts and people talking about rentals, which is not my thing. But they're saying, people who have been here years, they're saying how rentals don't taper off all that much in the in the yeah, off season not, anymore. It just, anymore. It just the secret is out. <laughs> Paradise has been uh, sorry. Yeah. I feel partly responsible for that. My son's always <laughs> like, it's your fault, mom, because you keep telling people how nice it is. And it is nice, yeah. but it's changing. Yeah, yeah, very much. So, okay, so you mentioned the rental market. What do you think about the value of, that's available for homes that people are purchasing? Prices are going up. Prices sure. are going up, of course. That's just normal. Um, yeah, what what sell what seems to sell the most is like between a hundred and three hundred thousand. That kind of okay. seems to be the, the the spot where a common let's say common people. You know, right. they're not multimillionaires. Regular not, folks. Yeah, regular folks. Yeah. Um, yeah, between one and three hundred is, so is what we sell most. What of. can you get for a hundred thousand dollars? Right now. Yeah. There are a few options. I know. I'm like I'm shocked to hear you say a hundred. Very but. well. It's, well. Like well, a, and why I say right house. now there are very few <laughs> it's options a house. because that's the that's the that's the what's there the, the less of because whoever can afford they that grab, they it, snap yeah, it, it up right yeah so these are some of the like Armonia right Armonia whatever where they they do I've seen some of those where they I mean you tell me because I don't really really know but um, you're my source <laughs> they build a lot of them they're cheap what's the quality like though well Armonia number one is not delivered yet. Okay. So this is a project, and, and they've been sold out for many months now yeah, already, yeah. and uh, it still isn't finished. So the good thing is, number two is will be built after number one, mm -hmm. and we'll so we'll get more. to see the results of number one to be able to tell you the quality of number right. two, whether okay. we have confidence in it or not. Okay. You know, and that I like. Uh, yeah. When it's something when we don't know the developers, when they're new to town and they don't have anything we can physically look at. Yeah. Then all you can do is, you know, hope, hope and cross your fingers. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, because there's a lot of stuff. So the deal is that pre-construction is how people purchase their properties a lot of times. If you don't have, a, you know, an extra 300 grand sitting around, pre-construction is typically the way to go because you put a little bit of money down, right? And then you pay in stages as the development exactly, um, yeah. goes along. And then the final payment is due on delivery of keys, essentially, right? 
Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So you want to talk about the preconstruction? Is there anything else people need to know about preconstruction or like well, what's happening? Yeah, preconstruction. See, because the market's been so hot, there, there's very little good pre-existing resales left. You don't anything that's really good, it barely gets time to be put on anybody's website, and it's just okay. Wait a second. You said good pre-existing resale. What does that mean? Yeah, like uh, you built a house five years ago and uh -huh. you want to sell it. So it's an existing oh, just house that. that's there. Right. Okay, okay. So things that are really attractive, um, they just they just don't last. They're it's, gone. it's that kind of market now. They're it's hot. It's very hot. It is. Many, many projects and it's, it, everything's even escalating, which I can't even believe it since last year. But, uh, you know, many projects, the beautiful one from our, our, let's say, our famous developers here in Las Arenas, they have a great reputation. Yeah. And uh, they can't buy land fast enough to, to, to build and everything's selling out on paper before they even yeah. break ground. This is, this is how it is. So there's a concern. I will be really honest with you guys. There's a concern among those of us who either have lived here full time like me or come back and forth. And that is that Las Terrenas will turn into like a Punta Cana or a Tulum or Cancun or someplace like that, that nobody wants to see because part of the beauty is all this nature you see, right? It's not totally mowed down. But you were saying earlier that there's some, particularly like local developers, Dominican developers, who think that those of us from North America or Europe want to see all the bright, shiny stuff, which, you know, you want a quality product, but this is what we love. We love the nature. So what's up? Are we going to lose this, you think? I, I don't know. See, I don't know because I'm, I'm Canadian, so I don't know. I grew up there and I know what I like. I like yeah. to come here. We're sitting under a thatch roof. I don't know if the camera sees that or not. Yeah. But, you know, we, I, I, me personally, I can only speak for myself, but I like the very typical Dominican style, right. you know, restaurants, uh, everything. I, I like that. So the that's that's the charm the and culture. that's the appeal. Yeah. And as new people come, uh, and more people come, well, uh, yeah, things change. That's just how it is. Yeah. But I can tell you that, for example, again, when it comes to things we have for sale, I like I like the older, maybe if it's something a resale, 15 or 20 years old, mm -hmm. it's more have a charming feel. Yeah. But the vast majority of people want brand new and modern. Yeah, because... So it's... Well, so like with the house I lived in before here, it was lovely. I think it was maybe a dozen years old. But then you have like older plumbing and maybe issues with, I mean, we didn't have leaks necessarily, but you know, so is that, a, so if somebody says, okay, but I, I like the charming too, and I want to buy something that's pre-existing, what are they looking at in terms of maintenance and, you know, yeah. what some of the issues? If, like anywhere in the world, I would guess it depends who built it and the quality of the okay. original build, you know, I live in my, I don't even know how old my house is. It's probably close to 30 years. They said it's around 15 years old when I bought it in <laughs> right. 2008. And I, I literally had very few problems. Yeah. Um, yeah, just little things once in a while. Like, I no different than Canada. Like, uh, maybe I was a lucky one. Maybe, who knows? But there's good and bad everywhere there in is. every aspect of everything. That's so, true. You know? That's true. The internet's still like, meh, honestly. I, well, How's your internet? I have Claro, fiber optic internet. Fiber and optic it, is and the it's, key. It's consistent. It's there. It's yeah. awesome. Fiber yeah. optic is the key. Yeah. So, so all the newer developments, they're getting fiber optic installed automatically. All those types of things are done. But again, you know, they're mowing down loads of the natural terrain. And any development calls for that. I know. Yeah. I, I'm, yeah, you know. I have a soft spot. Um, what's a good deal? If I say, okay, look, I, I'm coming. I want a two bedroom. It's me and like a family of three or four maybe you have some stuff off the bat, you'd say, yep, this is the way to go, or don't do this. What should people look out for? Maybe that's a better question. Well, kind of what I referred to earlier, there's so much of the pre-existing, everything good pre-existing is sold, so you're almost buying these pre-constructions, um, which a lot of them have the confortour tax exemptions. You don't pay your title transfer tax, no property taxes. The best deals, let's say, is when you're buying off plan on paper before mm -hmm. it starts, you're getting a lower price because as units get sold, prices go up. Right. So uh, if it's from a trusted developer and, and a lot of people, a lot of them that I know, that I trust and have perfect confidence in because I've seen their past right. work, I, I'm all for it. You know, that's your yeah. best deal. Okay, so a couple of things I want to mention. One, you said confiture, but I want to hold, I'll tell you guys about that again. We've talked about it before. But when Steven said trusted developer, this is really important because people write to me still all the time. They say, someone wrote recently and said, hey, I plunked down some money in a Punta Cana development, but he doesn't know the realtor, doesn't have a lawyer, just is like kind of hopeful that this project is going to go off, you know, without a hitch. You need to have people that you can trust, people who've been in this business in this area for a long time. This is why I work with Steven because you've been down here for, how long have you been here, Steven? You're practically Dominican now. Two, no, no. <laughs> 
long time. My Spanish will tell you otherwise, <laughs> but uh, no, since 2008. Okay. Yeah. And so you know this market very well. Starting to, yeah, but it's changed very much, you He's know, modest. just just since COVID, yeah, it's changed so much. That. Well, oh yeah, so COVID. Yeah. Okay, so but I, so we just said the other day. So my son was here a minute ago, who's now 12, and Stephen's like I thought he was 10 because when we first met, he was six years old. So we've known each other for six years. Yeah. And you were doing how? But how long have you been doing real estate in Las Arenas? Yeah, this is year seven. You were you were right at the beginning. Yeah. So, so yeah. he's been doing this for a while. And so you've seen the changes. You've seen the development. Um, this is why I do refer people directly to Stephen because he's been here. He's seen the changes. You know the builders, the architects. Who's who's trustworthy? Who does crap work? Who does good work? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know everyone, and I'm never. Gonna, I'm not one of those guys that say, ah, I know everything. No, I, I but, don't suggest you know, that. I know a lot of people, and I know a lot of way things work around yeah. here. And very much part of my job, because this is not a typical real estate market. You know, no. we're not just buying 30 minutes outside of where we're from or where yeah. we live now. People coming to a different country. I might have said this before. I'm repeating myself, but it's very much part of our job, just pointing people in the right direction, right, and, with the right connections and the right people and the right ways and processes to do everything yeah. yeah well what i like is what he just said like i don't know everything so this is not some guy who's going to bullshit you frankly it's like if you don't know you don't know but you can find out right and that's so, like me as a lawyer if i don't know something i'll be like well i'm not really sure but let me find out and even if you don't decide to you know come and ask steven for help whatever make sure that whoever you deal with isn't someone who's like promising you the world or guaranteeing everything because that's just not really possible to promise that there's not going to be any problems. You know, you just have to be sure that whoever you're dealing with, again, is reputable, is trustworthy. You can ask for references. So that's my recommendation to you. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So I want to go back now and talk about that. The what you mentioned called Confortur. It's a law here in the DR. That I don't know when it came into being, but it's been around for a while. But basically, it was designed by the government to boost tourism, to to attract foreign investment. Exactly. So and it has to do a lot with real estate here, and not every development is under the Comfort Tour umbrella, but those that are bring huge benefits. So Stephen, I think you talked about the transfer tax. So for example, there's normally a 3% transfer tax on real estate transactions here. With Comfort Tour, you don't have to pay that. You don't have to pay property tax for 15 years, which can be renewed for another 15 years. That's huge. If you rent your property, like some people come part-time and go home, the rental income you receive is tax-free for 15 years, renewable for another 15 years, right? Yeah, there's huge benefits. And like, let's say you want your favorite, whatever your, <laughs> excuse me, um, decor or materials you want to use that you're importing from out of the country, all that can come here. No customs or duty taxes, that kind of thing. So, if you look for a property with Comfort Tour, that's going to give you a lot of benefits. But it's only on new stuff, and it only applies to the first sale. So if I buy the property that's under Comfort Tour, I get all those benefits. But then if I sell it to Stephen, they're gone, right? Mm. Yes. Okay. But there are ways. Okay. There are ways. Uh, okay. Depending if you buy in a personal name or in a or in a company name, okay. an LLC. See, so that's why you need to know. There him. are ways, and that's something that, depending on the persons, on the investors, individual circumstances, yeah. they can discuss with their lawyer and they okay. will advise. Uh, so you know. this is why I deal with him because he knows these things, and then we've got the lawyers to hook you up with, so you're good to go. They are very important. They're hugely. Never, never try to save a few hundred dollars on a lawyer when you're you. when you're investing a few hundred thousand dollars. I've Get said a good this. lawyer. It's so true. I've said this on prior videos. I tell people all the time. It is worth the extra money you pay. The most Look, important. It's pay now or pay later. Period. <laughs> yeah, very, right? That's, it that, is. That applies. That's very just much what so. it is. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> any well other said. little uh, tidbits you can think of? Uh, God, I don't know. Tell us a horror story. What did someone not do that they should have done, and then it was a disaster? not do that they should have done. I like the drama. No, I don't know. Uh, no? Uh, Resist and not make a decision. Oh. Before. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, okay. that's, uh, but I mean, it's, it's a big thing investing in a foreign country. You know, some people, it's, it's, people are nervous and they're not right, ready to pull the trigger and, but people who were kind of on the fence last year, two years ago, and they're saying, well, we'll wait and see how it goes. Now they're just, they're, Picking themselves. Yeah, because the things have doubled, yeah, right? Good price. point, Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> very, very much so, so. Off to the side there, you'll meet him later, is Patrick Johnson, uh, Stephen's partner. Massive, massive, hugely. But these, both these guys are Canadian. Canadian. Pa come, come here, Patrick, just for a second. Come show your face so you can see who we're talking about. Because you had to ruin the who, video, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> this is Patrick. Hey, hey, hey. How's it going, guys? Patrick's got loads of information, or sorry, experience from Canada, built a whole huge empire there, and he's building another empire here, a Caribbean empire. So whether it's in Las Terrenas or Sasua or the Punta Cana area, whatever, this is your team, really, because they have listings all over the place. They've got an office in Sasua, an office, or connections in Punta Cana. You tell them. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Tell them. We have representation across the island mm -hmm. in yeah. all the various uh, beach resort areas that you want to buy in. Uh, and that's key. We have experienced people in each area yeah. that have done hundreds of transactions, each on their own, and they're now part of our group, both on referral basis and also internal. And it, it makes a difference. It really makes a difference. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So trusted people. And, you know, I wouldn't have them and, you know, I wouldn't do that. Anyway, I think that's it, unless you have something else that, you know, you want to. Well, I feel pretty good for being blindsided and, hey, let's make a video, but... <laughs> I told you it's going to yeah, be that's, easy. That's what's going on here. Um, another beautiful day in March. Blue skies and yeah. blue waters. And yeah. Yeah. It's just nice. working away. All right, guys. So if you have questions, if you want to know, if you're ready, write to me. Put you in touch with Stephen or Patrick. Um, we'll go from there. Ah, yes, the link. Well, so the link, there should be a Calendly link. Click that, you'll be able to sign up, uh, contact me, we can make an appointment for a consultation, all of that. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, please, you're like four years late, so there's a little red button down in the corner there, subscribe, just helps everything. Um, I think that's it. Mwah. Lots of love. Adios. Thank you. See you guys later.